Hey guys, welcome to Fight or Flight Academy's quarantine workouts. We're all stuck at home with nothing to do, so might as well get some movement on. Remember, rule number eight, don't die. Today we're gonna work on some exercises for your knee joint. Now these exercises are things that I've found through all of my training that kind of help me through a lot of knee problems that I've had. I can guarantee that they will definitely make your knees stronger. However, I am not a doctor. I am not a physical therapist. If you have actual problems with your knees, go to a physical therapist, get some real exercises that'll actually help, and then tell me what they are because I'll definitely use them. Any sort of physical therapy exercises that you do before you hurt yourself, we call bulletproofing, and that's what all this stuff is gonna be. So for starters, give yourself a little bit of space anywhere. This one's relatively easy. We're not gonna be moving around too much. You're just going to lay down. So when you're laying down, oh, nice and relaxed on your back, we're gonna think about what your knee actually does. So your knee is a hinge joint that just kind of moves forwards, but there's a lot of kind of weird internal motions that it can do as well. And we wanna strengthen up as many muscles as we can around there just to kind of hold it all in place. Your knee is not supposed to be loose. It's supposed to be very stable and very strong. So these first exercises are gonna just kind of build up a lot of these outside muscles around here. You're gonna start with one knee bent, the other knee straight. You're gonna pull your toes back nice and hard. Don't touch your foot to the floor, leave it up. We're gonna lift it up relatively slow until your thighs are pretty much flat and then back down again relatively slow. We're gonna do this 10 times. Yep. And down. Two. Three. Four. Five, remember to keep those toes pulled back. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And 10. Now we're gonna do the exact same thing with the other leg. So pull your toes back. Lift it up until it's level with your other foot and back down again, nice and slow. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, make sure those toes are pulled back. Six, seven, eight, nine, last one, and ten. For the next one, you're going to lay completely on your side, your legs straight out to the side here. Now it's really important to get this completely straight out to the side. If you're lean too far forwards or too far back, you're gonna hit different muscles. You wanna really feel it right on the side as much as you can. And we're gonna lift it straight up and down the same as last time, nice and slow, 10 times. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And 10. Now we will do that on the other side, but first, while we're already here, we're gonna do the other leg here, planting this foot. So your bottom leg is now straight and we're gonna lift that one up to the inside. This one is a little bit more difficult. You're probably not gonna get a lot of lift on it. Just do what you can, 10 times. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, and 10. Again, we're gonna do that on the other side, but first, your bottom leg, bend it out in front of you like so. And we're just gonna lift our foot up, keeping your knee planted on the ground the entire time here. 10 of these. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now let's switch to the other side. So we'll first start with this top one that we did first last time. So again, try to keep yourself nice and straight. You don't want to be too far forwards or backwards. Just lifting it straight to the side ten times. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And 10, then plant that foot in front of you. I'm gonna hit the bottom leg, keep that leg nice and straight, lift it up to the inside. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now bend that bottom leg out. Try to keep this knee planted, lifting it up. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. For these next ones, you're going to lay down flat on your stomach. Keeping your leg completely straight, we're going to lift it straight back behind us as high as you can. Trying not to bend your knee as we do that, just keep your knee straight and lift it straight up. So 10 times on one foot. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And the same thing on the other leg. Remember to keep that knee straight. One, two, three. Four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, for the next one, you're going to have a seat. For this one, I actually really like to do this next to a wall. It makes it just a little bit more realistic. Also, considerably harder. So, if you want this to be a lot more difficult, you can be more upright. If you want to make it a little bit easier, you can just pull yourself away from the wall or don't sit up next to a wall at all. So, you're going to take one foot, pull your toes back like we were before, and then push it to the outside. Keeping your knees straight then, we're going to try to lift it up as high as we can like this. Again, ten times. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't know if you can notice, but my leg is definitely shaking. Nine. This is not easy to do. 10. Now let's try it with the other side. Again, pull your toes back and to the outside. Keep your knee as straight as you can. 10 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, maybe shake your legs out a little bit. It's kind of a lot. All right, this next one, you're going to have to understand just a tiny bit about anatomy here. So if you turn your leg to the out and the inside like this, it's mostly done with your hips. However, if you can completely isolate the top part of your leg, you can still turn the bottom section of your leg a little bit. You've got two bones in there, so they can kind of move back and forth a little bit. We're going to use that for this next exercise. So I want you to try to kind of hold everything in place here. Point your toes to the inside as much as you can without moving anything in your hip or your knee. You're going to get a full extension on that, then turn it the other way and bend it back in. Then keeping your toes to the outside, extend, turn to the inside, come back down. So we're going to hit 10 of those. Up, turn, down, up, turn, down. That's two. Three, four, five, six, Seven. Again, I don't know if you can see it, but my leg is definitely shaking when I'm doing these. Don't worry, it's not easy for me. Eight. But if it was easy, you probably wouldn't be getting much out of it. It's kind of the point of exercise. Nine, last one. And 10. Whew, shake that out a little bit. Now, I do realize this could be kind of a flexibility thing if you can't quite get into that position. So you can do this exact same workout just sitting on something. So you can do the same thing from right here, and you don't have to worry about any of the flexibility. Again, try to keep the knee in place. All you're doing is just turning the bottom part of your leg. So let's start by turning it to the inside, extension, turn to the outside, bring it back, 
Keep it to the outside, extend, turn and back. 10 times, that's one. Two. Three. Now, those of you that know me or train with me know I had a pretty annoying knee injury for a while on this knee. Four, and you can actually see as I extend it right about there, there's a pretty severe weakness and it starts shaking a whole bunch. That's not a bad thing. That just means that you know where your weaknesses are, five, and you know where you need to work on it. So I actually do this exercise quite a bit, and it's still not easy. Six. Seven. Eight, two more, we got this. Nine, last one. Nice and slow, literally try to tense all the muscles in there. Ah, oh, 10, there we go. All right, shake that out a little bit, feels good. Now for this next move that we're gonna do, you're gonna need to have something to kind of stand on. This could be anything from a curb or the bottom stair or one of these little guys. If you have something like this, that's fantastic. Uh, the higher you go with this, the harder it is to do. So I recommend starting with something very short uh, and then kind of build your way up from there. So I want you to set yourself up so your toe is right on the edge like this. You're gonna bring your heel in front and you're just gonna try to bend down and touch your heel to the floor, stand back up. As you're doing this, try not to let your heel rise off the ground here. You wanna have your weight completely flat on the bottom of your foot, coming all the way down and back up. We're gonna do 10 of these. So that was two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now I'll switch to the other foot. Do ten on this side again. Put your toes basically right on the edge. Keep your heel in front. Keep your weight planted on your entire bottom foot. You don't want to be going up onto your toes. Ten times. One. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Awesome. We've got one more little knee workout that we're going to do for this. You're going to want to find something to help you balance. It can be anything. It doesn't really matter what. But the goal here is not to have to think about balance, but to think about the technique that you're actually doing with your knees. So keeping your feet relatively close together. You can have them apart a little bit. That's fine. All I want you to do is push your hips forward and keep going, keep going, keep going until you feel a little bit of pressure kind of on the front of your knees. Don't go to the point where it hurts. Now, oh God, I'm going to fall down. Like, no, 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 that's way too far. Just a little bit of pressure is all we're going for. Lead with the hips, come down, there it is, and then stand back up. These are called sissy squats. The goal eventually is to be able to go your knees all the way to the ground with no pain at all, but do not push this too fast, too hard. This is a rough one. So let's hit 10 of these. Two, three, four, five. Remember to keep those hips forward. Six, seven, eight. 
nine. And 10. So there you have it, a nice little workout for your knees. I recommend doing this workout two or three times every week. The more you do it, the stronger your knees are gonna be and the happier you will be.